Hi everyone, in this video I explain how to set up a Festo CMMP drive in order to use it as a rotary axis in 360 degree using 10th increments. Hello, welcome back. This is Gert Zeller from Zeller Press Control and off we go. I have everything prepared for you offline and I will just go through the setup step by step. So this is your start window. There you can see the configuration, how I made it in a previous video. And if you go up here on the right side, on the next button, you will see the according setup. Here it's um, just shown again which components are being used. On here I have um, the control interface as a profinet and then I do use the profile position mode and the profile velocity mode. And down here in this section the modulo positioning I have set up for the shortest distance using the range limit positive one and the range limit negative zero. So in this case we do only one revolution. Also I do use the record sequence in order to control the speed. The next screen is just a screen, a screen where we don't need to make any changes also on here I just left this the way it is. In this window there will be no changes made anyways because this is to control the limits of the motor. And here the limit switch and the reference switch on my side is switched off because I do have a rotary axis with low, no limit switches and we just reference it to the position where it is. I do not use a brake so this is also a digital output which is just a standard factory setting. Mm, this is an analog input and also here since I control it via Profinet this analog input zero through um, two will not be set and used in any case. So just go through here and this is the same for the analog outputs. On here um, I just set up my IP address and a name. This is just important to use the bus, the profi, not the bus, the profi net. And then this item right here is important because we do use the units in degree and this exponent position I have set to 10 minus 1 and the velocity I just left and the acceleration I also left the way it is and the gear was just set up to the way it is in the previous video according to the to the used hardware you can set up the, the parameters for the truck mode the crawling velocity the slow motion time where it actually waits until it switches over to the max velocity and the acceleration and this I just left pretty much um, in the factory settings and then now the next item is the record table and in this record table if it shows up at all there it is in this record table for me that was the only way to control the speed when it is actually running in a continuous mode I have set up um, just 100 different um, record tables that I control on the on the S7 side which I already showed you in a previous video I'm gonna refer to you up on the screen you can look that up and I just show you one 
record. If you make a double click on that, it opens up. So you can see the number here. I just started actually with uh, the record number 20 because that shows me a velocity of 20 RPM per minute. And this is the output velocity after the gearbox. And the acceleration that you can set to your needs. I just left it the way it is uh, set up in the factory. The start condition I do ignore. And the re there is no record sequence because I am just going to run it record just by the record that I need according to the speed. And yeah, that is pretty much the setup that I am using um, to run my axis as a rotary axis for a center press. And that's it how to set up the parameters for a rotary axis on a Festo CMMP. So thank you for watching and bye bye. See you in the next video.